Hey guys, Snooka here. Now you've prepped your food, you've prepped your water, and after eating all that food and water, all of a sudden you have to go take care of business. What are you going to do now? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the bare bones necessity you need in order to have your own off the grid, portable, functional toilet for stuff hit the fan, of course. If you look in front of you, what you see is a five gallon bucket. Now, with that five gallon bucket, you could literally just do your business in there, toss it out, call it good. Not exactly the most sanitary, not, not exactly the most sanitary approach, or one of the best methods you could do. So I'm going to help you key that up just a little bit. What I have in front now is the totable toilet lid, and this came from Emergency Essentials. But I ordered this off Amazon because the way it worked out, I was able to pay maybe like an extra dollar or two, but I got two day shipping. So for me, this worked out the best, but these are sold, I think, a little bit cheap on emergency essentials. So whatever you feel like you want to do, you do that. If you notice that second sub bullet there, it says it fits on both four and a quarter, five, and six gallon round buckets. So just to show that to you, make a little noise there. When we're looking at the lid, you can simply just prop it open. and then place it right on top of the bucket. And it pretty much for the most part, it snaps in place. I've actually settled this and tried it, not literally, but just to see how it felt, the height and everything. And to me, it pretty much feels like you're sitting on the same height of an actual toilet. So I thought that was a pretty nice feature. As well, you can close the lid and you can use the bucket handle to transport it around. I wouldn't recommend that, especially if you had stuff in it. But that option is there if you feel the need to. And now I know you're thinking, okay, so I'm doing my business in this bucket. How am I going to keep it sanitary and things like that? And yeah, that's a fair question. So, remember all those Walmart bags you have sitting around under your sink? Well, with this five-gallon bucket here, I noticed that a Walmart bag can comfortably fit around it. Just like that. And then what you can do is you take your totable toilet lid, place it on top, and now you have enough space, enough clearance to where you can do your business, wrap it up, and either keep it in a bucket that you're just going to use for that type of business. In other words, when you get done with this, you can put a lid on top of it or whatever. Or if you have a spot where you can dispose of it somewhere, anywhere that you think is a good spot, you do that. You got to do what you got to do to keep yourself and your family alive and safe. That doesn't mean you go out there and harm someone else's chances, but at least make it better for you. So there's an idea there. You can use a Walmart bag to help trap all the mess you got going on. As well, if you're worried about that leaking, you can either double bag it, or what I'm going to do is you can pre-line it with uh, one of these 13-gallon bags or something a little bit smaller. And for a 13 gallon bag, a 32 count only paid about like $2.50 for this. So I would pre light it with this, and then I'll take a Walmart bag and stick it on top. Now, to keep it even more sanitary, you could also use a little baking soda to help dull the smell down some and absorb any other messes you got going on. As well, if you need to clean the lid, you could use Clorox uh, disinfectant wipes. You could use actual Clorox bleach, so it's always good to have bleach around, of course. Or heck, if you just got something like this under your sink, I mean, whatever you have that's meant for cleaning stuff, I would use it, just to help keep sanitary as much as possible. I would say another thing you don't want to forget, you got to have toilet paper. I'm sure you've probably stocked up with that already, but go ahead and just keep on stocking up because you never know when you're going to need it. And, of course, you could use baby wipes as well, provided they can still stay moistened for you. Now, let's talk about a couple of things here. If for some reason you don't have a room in your house that you can get to, you could easily use one of these trash bags, go to a corner of a house, and you could just set up that trash bag as like a little privacy barrier and put the bucket in the corner. Or, if you do have your restrooms, then obviously I would say go to the restroom with the bucket do your business, take care of it. When it comes to number one, I would recommend just doing it in the bucket and then dumping it out when it's safe to do so. 
Cubs are number two, obviously a different case. You want to bag that stuff. And so uh, to help absorb things, you can either use like kitty litter, just like cats do when they do their business, or you could use the Arm and Hammer, the baking soda that I showed you. There, there are plenty of different options you could go with, but it really depends what you're going to do. For those of you living in a city, you know, if you kind of think back to the real late medieval times where they used to poop and pee and outside the city, you know, that, that get pretty nasty. You don't want to get an epidemic like that because people are going to get sick real fast, real quick. So it might be the best for you is when you're done do your business. I mean, you may have to just, when you get a chance, dump it out in the grass somewhere. Or uh, you might have to just actually cap the bucket up and put it somewhere where you're not going to see it again. That's real hard to say. Only you can really determine what's the best practice for you. And, uh, you know, like I said, this is for residential because for those with, like, farmlands and stuff, well, if they wanted to, for one, they have enough land, but two, they could also, you know, cultivate it and use it for gardening. You just have to do your research and learn how to do that stuff. It is possible, though. So that's just my short little video on some uh, ideas I want to give you when it comes to toiletry items, when uh, stuff actually hits the fan, because that might be something you didn't think about. Uh, even those of you that are septic tanks, more than likely, your pump might be an electric motor. And unless you have a backup for that, you're not going to be able to get water in and out of your house. So for you as well, you want to go ahead and just stock up one of these. And if you think about it, when you're, when you're bugging out, it's good to have a portable toilet with you in case you have nowhere else to go. Especially for the ladies. For the ladies, it's not as easy for them to use the restroom as it is for the fellas. So what that means is, if you get this portable bucket with the lid on it, well, that's better than, you know, going out in the grass and doing your business. So hopefully this video was informational to you. Just some tips I want to give you to keep in mind whenever you're prepping for that stuff at the fan. And uh, you've had a good eat of food, a good drink of water, and you got to take care of business. This is what I recommend you do. You do what works best for you. And as always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. If anyone has any better ideas for toilets or anything like that, please feel free to let me know. And uh, maybe we can see about getting your video posted in a response. Until then, keep it safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon. Later.